Behold, the Phillips screwdriver. But where did it come from? Meet Henry Phillips, born in Oregon in 1890. Flathead screwdrivers date back to 1744. They worked fine as hand tools because human carpenters and mechanics could use hand-eye coordination to fit the screwdriver into the head of the slotted screw. However, as car manufacturers stepped up production, they increasingly used automated assembly lines, and machines on those lines required a different kind of screwdriver, one that didn't need hands or eyes to work. Henry asked himself, why not build a screwdriver for power tools? Sure, it only takes a second or two for a human being to line up a slotted screw and flathead screwdriver, but those seconds add up. Henry's design altered the screw as much as the screwdriver head. On a Phillips screw, the usual slot is replaced with a shallow, cross-shaped socket. The Phillips screwdriver head is also cross-shaped, and it's tapered at the end. It's a lot easier to seat this tip into the screw, and when the job is done, the screwdriver pops out just as easily. Once Henry persuaded car manufacturers that the time saved would add up to profits, the industry underwent a sea change, and the Phillips screwdriver system has become the industry standard.